What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. It looks like 2020 truly is the year of reckoning where all the fake people in the world are being exposed and I'm living for it. I feel so freaking vindicated with this particular story and I'm sure that Jessica Batten from Love is Blind does as well because guess what? Her ex-fiance, Mark, was dating their former co-star, LC for a couple of months this summer, and it turns out that he was cheating on LC with some random woman that I don't know how he met because she lives a couple states away. She was probably a fan of the show, um, and LC had to unfortunately find out about it through Reddit. You guys, this story is long. It is messy, so buckle up. It involves coronavirus. Um, Elsie unwittingly driving this man to go cheat on her and Jessica exposing him for cheating on her as well and Mark denying the claim. So let's get into it. First of all, um, there was a thread on Reddit. Someone was really excited to know someone who was dating Mark. So she went on the sub forum Love is Blind Netflix and posted a photograph of Mark with one of her friends. And then Elsie from the show who was involved in that love triangle with uh, Matt Barnett, Jessica Batten and uh, Amber Pike actually chimed in on the post and let that girl know, well, listen, this is hella awkward because I've been dating Mark. Let's jump into her exact comment. This is what she had to say. This is awkward because I live in Atlanta and I've been dating Mark since the beginning of May. Oh, and by the way, this is Elsie from Love is Blind. Feel free to DM me on Instagram if you'd like more information. But I definitely just broke it off with Mark, so I really do appreciate you posting this and saving me the energy of dating another liar. When another poster asked her whether or not she and Mark were actually exclusive or anything like that, Elsie responded by saying, and I quote, we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend or anything, but we had several conversations about not being with anyone else, especially because of COVID-19. I was super clear for the first time we hung out that I wasn't looking for a hookup. And he assured me he's not that kind of guy and was quote, only interested in me and would say things like, what are you so afraid of with me? I'm not going anywhere, LC. That's not who I am. LOL. We probably hung out about every other day and we talked every day on FaceTime for hours. He introduced me to his best friends. We were watching a show together. He had a damn toothbrush at my apartment. The best part is he let me drop him off and pick him up from the airport where he knew he was going to be hanging out with this girl. That's where these pics are from. He even told me he randomly went to Cleveland for no reason and showed me videos of him at a top golf where these pics are from in the OP. The day he got back from this trip, I picked him up and we went to dinner. He asked me how I was feeling about him and he sat there and smiled as I went on about how I thought he was the sweetest guy I've ever been with and how lucky I was knowing he was just with this girl probably less than 24 hours prior. That day, I asked him straight up again if he was seeing other people still and he laughed and said, Elsie, really, no, I'm only interested in you. When would I even have the time to date other people? I'm always with you. Guess he found the time. How freaking psycho is it that this guy could lie to her face when she asks him if he's seeing other people? He says, no, I'm only with you. I'm only interested in you knowing that he just stepped off the plane, probably did not even change his airplane clothes from when he was seeing another chick in another state and climbing in her car as she drove him around town. Like, wow, it takes a certain level of like messed up in the head to be able to lie to someone's face like this for literally no reason, especially someone who just wants to have a nice, healthy relationship with you. And especially when you know their past history with the relationships and you benefited from playing the ultimate victim on reality television while your former fiance, Mark, her life was almost destroyed because of the games that you played um, with your victimhood, acting like you did not know that that girl did not want to marry you. Like to me, this guy screams all sorts of like, I don't even want to like say it because it's so mean, but like, let me just say, like it screams personality disorder to me. People who could be so like vehemently dishonest creep me out. I think there's something wrong upstairs with people like this. So I'm disturbed. And you know, Elsie talking about how he had a toothbrush at her apartment. She made it very clear that she only wanted a monogamous relationship. And he seemed to have returned the favor with her, um, her mentioning how they hung out literally every other day, FaceTimed every day. Like 
she asked him, was he seeing other people? And he claimed that he wasn't. So to me, whether or not they had the boyfriend or girlfriend title, it was clear that they were in some sort of an exclusive relationship working towards that way here. So yes, but I would say that Mark did actually cheat on LC. And so this is very disappointing to hear. But again, I'm not surprised because I spent like half of my love is Brian recaps talking about how manipulative this guy truly is. So, um, you know, and another thing for Elsie, I feel bad for her because this is the second love triangle she's been with that kind of involves Jessica to a certain extent. Remember on the show, she was caught in a love triangle web between Barnett, Amber, and Jessica. And now um, she is caught in one with Mark and some other girl. Well, she's not caught in one. She just left the relationship. But Mark is Jessica's ex-fiance. So this is kind of like a little bit of a messy look in the Love is Blind universe. And I wonder if she and Jessica have some kind of a relationship with one another where they could actually talk about this sort of thing. I wonder, I should ask her if Elsie talked to Jessica before pursuing a relationship with Mark as well, or if they've since connected because now Jessica actually has has accused Mark of cheating on her when they were engaged, which we'll get to later on in the video. Right now we're getting into chapter two in this messy tale, which involves coronavirus. According to um, Lauren or LC, she's been feeling really sick lately. And so she suspects that she might have coronavirus and that if she has coronavirus, it may be because Mark has been laying it low and spreading it wide across America. Someone on Reddit caught her uh, leaving a comment in a Love is Blind Facebook group that reads, and I quote, it's too much for me to type out right now. I'm about to go get a freaking COVID-19 test because Mark got me sick. I've been sick since Friday, coughing a lot and had a fever yesterday and Sunday. So that's also adding to why I'm so pissed about all of this. I could not feel any worse for Elsie than I already do. It has to be humiliating to be dogged out, not once, but twice on a global scale. You know, I'm sure this has her doubting herself and everything. And I, it makes me feel bad that that's something that she would be going through because in my opinion, she was one of the most beautiful women on that show she seemed so sweet so kind like she had a very short cameo but i remember her having a really big spark and so i hope that this is not something that makes her second guess herself because this is just an issue with mark as a person it has nothing to do with her if it wasn't her it would have been someone else and apparently it already has been someone else and that someone else is jessica so I had a DM conversation with Lauren on Instagram to ask her whether or not she's reached out to the other woman to see, you know, her side of things with the story with Mark when they started dating, everything like that. And so she told me that she did actually reach out to the other woman, but that the woman has not responded quite yet. So if that changes, I will definitely let you guys know. But in the meantime, Lauren is standing her ground and saying that, yes, Mark is incredibly manipulative and great at pretending that he is a genuine person and that if he's cheating on women, he's with all the time in the same city that's her she's talking to herself uh referring to herself there's absolutely no way he isn't going to continue to cheat on a girl he's dating in a different city now when it comes to mark's ex-fiance jessica batten she actually was called to the floor to talk about mark's indiscretions when someone left a comment under an e-news article about mark cheating on lc that read and i quote mark was sleeping with multiple women at the studio he trained at during the show referring to love is blind maybe show those interviews with his workers next time netflix and jessica responded to that comment with wow news to me i only knew about one which means that Mark had cheated on her and that it didn't make it on to the show, which, oh my God, grinds my gears. And if you haven't already yet, I really do urge you to watch um, one of my other videos about Love is Blind. I talked about how the show purposely um, placed the women in boxes that made them out to be villains of the show, despite all the horrible things that the men of the show did to them. And so this falls in line with what it was that I was saying. Jessica was very clear throughout her relationship with Mark that she did not want to marry him. She told him multiple times that she did not want to marry him. She listed her reasons, age being a factor, him wanting to live in Chicago being another factor to care for his parents, among other things, right? Um, she even took off her ring as well. And Mark still kept pushing forward, ignoring everything that she was trying to tell him, you know, acting like he was a love struck puppy dog who was too dumb to see the signs. And a lot of people really took to that and kind of ruined Jessica's life. Like, and that's not even a, a, um, an exaggeration. She had to go on an internet hiatus because she was harassed so badly based on how Mark 
portrayed himself to be the ultimate like reality show victim, knowing damn well that he was apparently cheating on her this whole entire time. And so it seems as though this was an open secret among the Netflix production crew, but somehow it didn't make it onto the show because they were so hell bent on uh, portraying Jessica as the ultimate reality show villain. And you know, allowing her feelings, her mental health, her life to be collateral damage in their pursuit of this. So if you haven't watched that yet, I definitely urge you to watch that video. But I did also have another video about how Jessica was the most important cast member of Love is Blind. Um, and I go into um, a lot of that stuff over there as well. Like Mark to me has always screamed master manipulator, bad news. I think he really wanted that sympathy at it um, in order to lure women who watch the show into falling for him so that he can just like sleep with women across America, across the world or whatever. He's also doing the whole personal training thing too. So he probably wanted to build his internet brand off of the back of, um, you know, being a lovable character who was done law wrong in love so that people could build that emotional connection and open up their purses for some personal training with him. And I think that the worst offense of all of this outside of cheating, which we're only just now discovering, but on the show was when we found out that he and Jessica both pre-agreed to say no to marrying each other at the altar. And then he blindsided her by saying yes, so that she could look like the ultimate asshole. And so ever since that came out, I have never looked at this guy the same way again. I am just so purely disgusted with him. Anyway, Mark has actually since come out and released a statement about LC's accusations. Um, he released a statement through justjared.com. And of course, he's denying the whole thing. This is what he said, had to say, and I quote, I enjoyed spending time with LC for a few weeks, but at no point were we in an exclusive relationship. As LC confirmed herself, I wish her the absolute best. LC, although LC did confirm that you guys were not in an exclusive boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. She did confirm that you both agreed to be in an exclusive relationship headed towards the boyfriend and girlfriend stage. So you do not at all get a free pass for having her, you know, drive you to the airport to meet another woman who does that. Like that is just so freaking disrespectful on so many levels, whether or not you think your boyfriend and girlfriend, why would you have one person you're dating or seeing? drive you to the airport to meet another one. Like that is just POS behavior. Like there's no explaining that away. And while you acknowledge that her statement is true, you ignore all the other important parts of her statement that prove you to be a really crappy person. Let's get into some of them, shall we? In her statement, Elsie specifically said that she made it clear to you that she was looking for a real relationship and not a hookup. And that you said that you were looking for the same thing and that you were quote, not that kind of a guy. And that you were quote, only interested in her. She also talked about how you guys hung out with each other every other day and spoke every day on FaceTime and that she met your friends as well, which is stuff that happens in a relationship that, you know, is seemingly serious and that you even had a toothbrush at her apartment. That's not like a casual thing. That is a relationship where you guys are regularly seeing each other. So if you're going to acknowledge, um, part of her statement, you need to go over the full thing because a lot of it is very incriminating on Mark's part. For example, going back to her picking him up and dropping him off at the airport, she did not know that Mark was going there to see another woman. According to her, Mark told her that he was going there for like no reason and that he was just hanging out to do golf and stuff like that, a very casual thing. So if you were an honest person, first of all, you would not have had her drop you off and pick you up, you know? Uh, but if you were an honest person, she would have probably known that you were still seeing other people and d decided to do whatever it was that she wanted to do with that kind of information. And lastly, in her final statement, she said that um, she asked you point blank if you were seeing other people and that you laughed and said, and I quote, Elsie, really? No, I'm only interested in you. When would I even have the time to date other people? I'm always with you. So you know, come on, Mark, we were not born yesterday. It's clear as day here that you were playing around with Elsie's feelings. And this is, cl is clearly not 
strange, out of the ordinary behavior for you, just based off your time on Love is Blind, manipulating Jessica and the audience into thinking that Jessica was the villain in your relationship. And now hearing that you had been cheating on your fiance with women at the gym, you know? So I think that it's finally time for Mark's day of reckoning to arrive. And I'm glad that it did because men like this really need to be called to the curtain and exposed so that women don't fall into their traps. Guys, what do you think about all the drama surrounding Mark cheating on LC with a woman and it all being uncovered on Reddit? And not only that, but it turning out that he had also cheated on Jessica while they were engaged on Netflix's Love is Blind. Are you surprised to hear about any of this or did you see it coming? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section and as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.